We are getting a look at body cam video of a violent arrest that resulted in a Taylor police officer being arrested. Tyler Mead was arraigned today on the charges stemming from the incident that happened all the way back in April of 2020. Jason Colthorpe live at the T Taylor Police Department tonight with a deeper dive into this video. Jason. Karen, not only was that video strong enough to land a police officer behind bars, the man behind the wheel during his preliminary exam last year, when the judge saw this, it was enough for him to dismiss the resisting arrest charges. Take a look. Video from several Taylor police officers body cameras showing them swarming a suspect in his vehicle after being pulled over in the parking lot of a gas station April 1st, 2020. Then one officer punches the man in the car and his hands were up. Todd Perkins is the man's attorney. His client apparently had a fight with his girlfriend about 1.30 a.m. and prosecutors say she called police when he left to go to the store. On his way back, he stopped. Seven officers, some with guns drawn, approach his car and within seconds yank him out. And then when he's on the ground, you can hear them in, in, in concert saying, stop resisting. How is he resisting when there are numerous officers who have, you know, your arms, your legs? The officer who allegedly threw the punch, 23-year-old Tyler Peak, is the one who was arraigned Wednesday for misconduct in office. My client is happy to be alive. He didn't think he was going to be alive. He, he still suffers from his events. He hit me hit 10 times, bro. Welcome to Taylor. You know, Taylor, like I said, they get a little oh, asterisk by their, um, their name right. because I think that they're extra special in their negative treatment towards African Americans. Just to reiterate what you heard in that last piece of the video there, the man says, you hit me in the head like 10 times, and the officer says, welcome to Taylor. Speaking of the Taylor Police Department, uh, they did acknowledge this today, but only in that saying that uh, an officer has been charged and been put on administrative leave, and that's all they plan to say about this as the case moves forward. Karen? Jason, there is a lot going on in that video. Could more charges be coming? Absolutely. We're hearing the prosecutor is looking at this very carefully. And anybody who watches this the first time, it's hard to pick out which officer would have been charged in all this. Like you say, it's very chaotic to look at. So that's happening. And, and I'm told there could be something related to the preliminary exam that also happened last year. So there's a lot to keep track of, and we will do just that. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jason.